It's Monday, Gladiators. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Mr. Trujillo, and this is your KWHS News. The topic of suicide is a hard topic to discuss because it is such a personal subject, but we've had so many suicides that our district has partnered with Aspen Point to host a suicide prevention clinic on Wednesday at the Mesa Ridge Auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m. Licensed clinicians will present tips and coping strategies, discuss warning signs, and provide additional resources. Please join us in this very important presentation and bring your family, friends, and neighbors. As a community, we're trying to help stop teen suicides. If you need more information, so please call this number. Marissa? There will be a Southern Colorado College Fair on next Monday the 26th at the Mortgage Solutions Financial Expo Center from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Students register online at the website. Attention juniors and seniors, college reps have started their visits with us. Wednesday brings UCCS while Metro State University will be here on Thursday and Colorado College will visit us on September 27th. George Mason University closes out the month with a visit on September 28th. October starts off with Grand Canyon University on October 6th, then Western State University on October 11th, and Fort Hayes State University on October 12th. In November, UNC Greeley will stop by on the 1st, DU will be here on the 8th, and Lamar Community College will stop by on November 10th. And CSU for Collins will end the month with a visit on November 17th. Remember to get your pass from the Counseling Center to attend any of these sessions. Also, seniors, be sure to check out the link at, on the WHS Counseling Center page for scholarship ideas. The list is updated regularly. See the Counseling Center for more information. One last deadline to keep in mind is for the FAFSA application. March 31st is the deadline to submit your FAFSA for the 2016-17 school year. This application is required for grants, scholarships, and other forms of financial aid. Please check with the financial aid office at the school you plan to attend for accurate deadlines. Access FAFSA through this website and beware of scams. You should never have to pay to complete the FAFSA. And now a very important message from Ms. Betsy in the cafeteria. Hi, this is Betsy here. Just a quick reminder that the blue forms that you were given to fill out for your uh, the lunch program need to be returned prior to the 28th of September. Please come to the cafeteria, ask questions, check your accounts. We need to get these forms back in. Thanks and have a great day. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Hi, Miss Betsy here. Hope to see you through the lunch line today. We're having cheeseburgers. That sounds like a great lunch to start the week. Hey seniors, Herb Jones will be in the Lower Commons during lunch Thursday, September 22nd to help seniors place cap, gown, and graduation announcement orders. Place your orders before winter break before prices go up. Announcements with the WHS logo are more limited in January. Go to this website after September 22nd to place orders. If you have any questions, call Herb Jones directly at this number. Senior photos and baby eyes are due on October 21st. See Ms. Kennedy for details. Also, if you did not make the Environmental Club meeting on Wednesday, be sure to see Mr. Cummings for more information. Now here's Elijah and Dylan with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Elijah Clark. And I'm Dylan Hamm. And this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Open gym for basketball is starting in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 on Monday, September 19th. If you are a fall athlete, you must have permission from your coach to participate. Contact Mr. Munoz for more information. Football played Friday night at Cheyenne Mountain and cruised past the Indians on their home turf. Tennis has a match against Harrison tomorrow. We caught up with junior Lucas Lacey. Well, the first two matches we had, I don't think one player came out with a win, but the last couple we've done, we got some wins going on. I know there were a lot of teams last year that were trying to make it, make it to state, but they didn't quite get there, so that's pretty much our goal. I think one of, one of our strongest players is Dakota Ruby and one singles, and our two singles, Ked and Roscoe. I think for my team, I know we need to focus on staying, getting our head in the game, and I think in practice, too, we need to stay focused. Thanks, Lucas. If you haven't gotten out to a match this year, their home matches are played over at the community center. Get out and support the Glad's tennis team. 
I'm Dylan Ham. And I'm Elijah Clark. Have an excellent Monday. Back to you, Marissa and Abby. Thanks, Elijah and Dylan. Glad's homecoming is this Saturday, the 24th, from 7 to 11 p.m. The theme is Grecian Gardens. Purchase your tickets for $10 in the business office. There will be a photo booth. Take pictures with your friends for $5. Sounds like a fun night. This is the last week to get your homecoming dress. See Ms. Molina in room 111 or Ms. HK in the library to make a dress appointment for Becca's closet. Remember that the dress is yours to keep. Spirit Week started today. Here's the schedule for the rest of the week. Today was stoplight day, so if you're single and you're looking, look for those who are in green. Remember that tomorrow there is no school, so wear your PJs all day. Wednesday is Twin Day, Thursday is Throwback Thursday, and Friday is Olympic Ring Day, where freshmen wear green, sophomores wear red, juniors wear yellow, <laughs> seniors wear blue, and staff wears black. All teachers and students, if you have a relative who graduated from Whitefield and is currently on active duty in the military, please Please bring in a photo of them including their rank and the year they graduated to the NJROTC room 125. Attention juniors, if you are interested in taking the PSAT test on Saturday, October 15th, you need to sign up in the Counseling Center by noon on October 13th. The cost is $15 and is due at sign up. Space is limited. Remember that the PSAT test is not mandatory, but a PSAT your junior year is required if you have any intentions for trying out for the very difficult merit scholarship. The test will be from 8 a.m. to noon. Cyber Patriot Club will be having the first meeting Thursday in Mr. Nell's room. Have a great week, Gladiators. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Mr. Trahill, and this was your KWHS News. It's just another man.